think there are kind of two approaches to the question of the nature and mechanisms supporting consciousness. One is to develop a great, grand, exotic theory. And the other is to take what we think we know about certain aspects of the phenomenon and try to make progress on a specific question. And many of the papers published now in neuroscience on consciousness do precisely that. So the way in really is to ask these kinds of questions. What's the difference in the brain between when you're in coma and not? when you're under anesthetic and not, when you're in an epileptic seizure and not, and try to establish what those differences might be and then build on that. So with regard, for example, to anesthesia, we really do have a very significant practical problem. And the practical problem is controlling excruciating pain. And, um, in the old days, that is before the mid 19th century, people just had to have amputations, root canals, tumor extractions and so forth without any help. Now, propofol, for example, is widely used in a surgical context. And so the question we can specifically ask is what happens in the brain to uh, take us from being fully aware and conscious to being not conscious under propofol. And if you do it very, very slowly, now, you know, if, if you're going in for an amputation, they don't give you propofol slowly. If you do it very, very slowly and document precisely what happens, the effects are quite interesting. The main effect at the systematic level is that we see a decrease in network connectivity. So that where the, when you're fully awake and conscious, things have a pattern of connectivity throughout cortex and subcortical structures. That connectivity is disrupted under propofol. And you have slower and lower and lower and lower levels of consciousness as a function of the propofol dose. And you can track it then also when you come up. At the cellular level, what we know is that neurons in the brain under propofol lose 90% of their spiking capacity. So this is not an explanation of consciousness, but what it is, is an entry point that will allow us to go further and understand in more detail what the mechanisms might be.